Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sam and today I am back with another video and today I'm going to talk about the top five cheapest universities to study in Canada. Universities that are on the DLI list and before I get into that video, stay tuned. <laughs> University of Newfoundland and like the name suggests it is in Newfoundland and Labrador it is located in St. John's and uh, the admission requirement is a GPA of at least 2.75 if you are from a country that uses GMAT the score for that is at least 550 or if it's a GRE then the score is of course 302 you have to have at least two full year of relevant work experience and two letters of references. So yes, you need references. The application fee for that school is only $40. Like that is one of the lowest, when I say lowest, you will not find anything lower than that. Maybe $35, but yeah, this application fees are to beat. When I was researching to come to Canada, this was one of the school I came across, but what discourages me from applying to this school was the waiting period. So it, it can take between 8 to 12 weeks to find out if you're accepted into the school. So if you're not in any rush and if you have the time to wait, you can apply for this school because it is pretty, pretty cheap. Like one of the cheapest that I have come across. Our international students. The cost for one year, I'm giving you cost for the tuition, including international fees and all the fees. So for one year, it would be like for one year. So I know sometimes people is wondering what is postgraduate diploma versus a master's versus a degree. So the postgrad diploma is, it is higher than a degree, but it is lower than a master. So it falls between a degree and a master so just to clear up some things for people so the other fees include like um it says continuous fees so if you have if you don't finish your your course within the set time that you're supposed to finish you have to pay a continuous fee per semester um then you have to pay union fees recreation fees campus renewal fees student service fees just like all the other universities you have to pay these fees they might be used um they might term differently like using different names but you're paying for these and i remember when i was looking for a master the total cost to do the master was 24 thousand canadian dollars like you don't find that anywhere else that easily like it is this is hard to beat like so guys if you're interested in doing a post-grad undergrad a master's PhD anything you can check out this school to see if they offer the program that you're interested in and if they do you can check out the cost sometimes the costs are a little bit um, difficult to understand based on the or based on how they set the cost out but if there's any doubts about the cost you can always contact the university by email or phone and they will respond to you because I did when I was looking it up and they responded to me like within probably 12 hours so that is good i just did not select the school because it was too much waiting to know whether or not i was accepted in the program so go and check them out guys the next school that i am going to is no other than the cape Breton university yes that's my school of choice that's my school that i'm attending now so if you need information on its costs and anything any information you want to know about the cape Breton university please drop them in the comment box below and i will respond to you as best as possible so the cape Breton university is located in the beautiful province of nova scotia yes i said nova scotia it is so 
and it is in Sydney so it is only one one location one campus which is in Sydney Nova Scotia you have small offices that lecturers and other students might use for classes um, but this is pretty cheap so the total cost for a two-year program and now the cost that I'm telling you is up for post grad that's what I am doing if you want to know the full cost I will be dropping the links for these schools in the description box below so you can click on the link and you can see the fees for different programs so for post grad it is isn't that good because when you compare it to some of the other school you're paying like something in the 30s like for two-year programs it is really good and what I do like about the Cape Breton University it offers a lot a wide variety of two-year programs when compared to other um, colleges or universities because one of the things that led me here outside of the cost is a two-year program it was so hard finding two-year programs yeah I never wanted to do a one-year program because I literally don't think I can deal with stress and uh, people you can do a one-year program don't get me wrong it's just that you get only a one-year work permit after completing your studies while when you do the two-year program you get a three-year work permit so you have sufficient time without rushing to sort out yourself when you're done with school to get your PR so the application fee is $80 when I was doing it I think it was 70 if I'm not mistaken probably about 70 so it's $80 for the application fees and the requirements you need at least a 2.8 GPA you need your transcript from your universities and you provide that to them but this doesn't ask for reference or anything and of course let me see if there's any other requirement and you need a copy of your degree that's it and if you do cert um in jamaica we do 60 so if you do 60 you can attach those as well but if you have a degree you don't need to attach your 60 documents so it is pretty easy and then the application so once you apply to this school it takes about two to three weeks for them to tell you hey yes you've been accepted to the program it took me to be exact one and a half weeks to get a response to say hey you were accepted into your program of study so the waiting time is short compared to the uh, memorial university of newfoundland so that is good quick response Alright, um, the third school on my list is no other than Nova Scotia Community College. So I applied for this college initially and I applied for the wrong program. When I say wrong program, it's the level of the program. Because I already did a degree and the program that I mistakenly applied for was a college graduate certificate which is lower than a degree so if i was to continue with this how would i convince the visa officer that i am coming to canada to study a college graduate program when i already have a degree i don't think i would be able to convince them so i was like yes i have a degree i don't need to study something lower than a degree so i I had to forego that and I reached out to the school and asked them if I could switch to one of the one-year program however I would have to do a new application and I never wanted to do that because then again I would have to wait to see if I get accepted in the program and the thing about Nova Scotia Community College they don't have I think when I was looking if I'm not mistaken like mistaken is that they only offer about one two-year program or or I think all of their postgraduate programs were all one year so you would have to do like a one plus one meaning that you'll do a one-year program when that one is completed then you apply for another one-year program so it'd be one plus one which is equal to a two-year program and then you'll be eligible for the three-year work permit but with me I don't think I could manage the whole thing of finishing a program and then applying for another program. 
I just want something to say, hey, I got into this program and I'm going to study this program for two years. And after two years, I'm done. Get my postgrad work permit and move on with life. So the application fee for Nova Scotia is seven, coming to college is $75. And uh, the cost for the program is $13,592 for a one-year postgrad program if you're doing a one plus one it will come to about twenty six thousand canadian dollars which is still cheap when you look at tuition for like centennial college for umber college because i did get accepted into them but they were like too expensive for me they were way out of my budget and i was like hell no so it is really cheap if you're doing the one plus one so the fees like i said you're gonna have to check out the fees because these fees that i'm giving is based on post grad and uh, diploma so if you're doing like undergrad like um, a bachelor you can look up the fee but these school regardless of a program that you're doing are the top five cheapest schools in canada there are other cheaper colleges that you can also look up but these are the ones that i came across when i was doing my research um, the Nova Scotia Community College, they have probably about 20 campuses across Nova Scotia. So you get to choose whichever campus you want. When you're doing the application, they tell you to select at least two campus, campuses. So just in case that one campus is full, you can get into your second option. So that is the beauty about it. You get to choose where you want to locate in Nova Scotia. Of course, when I applied, my first option was... Uh, the true role location and Halifax because Halifax is the largest city in Nova Scotia and accounts for about 45 to 50 percent of the total population in Nova Scotia and it is really really beautiful in Halifax and the job is more the job market is more it is more easy to get job in Halifax compared to other parts of Nova Scotia guys so with that being said oh I'm going to tell you something about Nova Scotia, which is really, really important. When you get accepted into your program, you have to pay a $1,000 non-refundable deposit fee. So whether or not you get through with your visa, $1,000 of what you pay is non-refundable. And you have to pay this $1,000 to hold your seat because when you get accepted, they give, I think they gave me two weeks to pay this $1,000 to hold my space. And if you, if you don't pay it, you lose your seat. So up and are receiving, whether or not, like I said, if you don't receive, if you are refused for whatever reason, you're not going to get back this thousand, this thousand Canadian dollar. So if you want, it's a gamble guys. And I never had the money to gamble with a thousand dollars. So I stayed away from them. Like Memorial University and Cape Breton University, you get a full refund. So when you're applying for school, please check out their refund policy. Make sure you do that because you don't want to lose your money. Trust me. The next school that I am going to is the University of Northern British Columbia. Uh, yeah, I just said that. The application fee is $76.50 Canadian and they are located in British Columbia. So yes, the University of North are in British Columbia. They are located in British Columbia. Application fee is $76.50 like I said earlier. And the basic graduate program for international students, yes, all the rates that have been quoting is for international students is $33,958.64 and this is for an MBA it's not a postgrad diploma it is for a master's in business administration so when I drop the link in the description box to see the fees for other for other courses or programs you can just click on those links and it will take you directly to the fees and tuition section of the schools so like this 33,900 call it 34,000 for MBA it is pretty cheap compared to the other schools because yes even though I was quoting like for Cape Breton and uh, the Nova Scotia 
and uh, what was the other one the previous one that i spoke about those were those costs were for postgraduate diploma this one is for a master's in business administration and this is the most expensive master's program that um, they offer i don't know why masters of business administration is expensive than the other programs i couldn't tell um this was shocking to me and i had to be like hold on i need to look again so it is the most expensive one so you will check that out and uh, they offer a wide variety of programs so you can also look them up and last but not least the college of the north atlantic so this is located in the Newfoundland and Labrador as well and the requirement is basically pretty much the same thing. You need your transcript from your school and you need um, to, uh, to do the application of course. The application fee is $100 and the tuition for the postgrad is $24,486 for the two year program. So there you have it that's my top five cheapest schools to study universities that is that is on the daily list to study in canada any questions drop it in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was beneficial to you or if it was if it enlightens if it gives you any information don't forget to subscribe to my channel like guys it's not taking anything from you it's not costing you to subscribe so hit that subscription button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.